Hi guys, so today it's time to share my March favorites and I'm so excited to share them all with you because I think they're all great. So the first thing that I really want to talk about is this choker that I got from Etsy. It's handmade and I got it shipped all the way from Australia. I'm so in love with it because not only it's beautiful and the color really, really matches my personality and my style, but the most important thing is that this crystal is called rhodochrosite and it actually heals thyroid, which I think is amazing. There are a few different crystals that heal thyroid, but this particular one really clicks with me. I just love the way it looks, I love the color, so I got it. And I have to say that every time I wear it, and I try to wear it most of the days, I feel this really nice warmth on my neck area and I definitely feel that I have more energy. So that's why I try to wear it on almost every single day. So if you have, if you have thyroid issues yourself, and if you are interested in crystals and their power, then I would definitely recommend this super cool choker because not only it's beautiful, but it can also potentially help your thyroid, which I think is great. The next thing I would like to talk about is my favorite, hands down favorite oil of March that I'm still using now, that is April. And it's rosehip oil with um, revitalizing florals. So it's basically a rejuvenation oil from a brand called Life Flow. I got it from iHerb and you know about my never-ending love for rosehip oil but I wanted something a bit more interesting, something that smells a bit more interesting and so I got this rejuvenation oil with a few different flower oils, essential oils and it has things like clary sage which is so good for your skin and also rose geranium oil and also ilang ilang oil. The smell is just absolutely beautiful. I, when I apply it just before going to bed, it really relaxes me and helps me sleep. In the morning, it prepares me for the day and energizes me. So basically, I love using it any time of the day. Also, if I have any kind of dark marks or scars that I want to get rid of, this one works better than anything else. I mean, of course, any rosehip seed oil is amazing for any kind of marks or scars, but this one is no exception. It's just great. The next thing that I've been loving so much is this diffuser that I got from a shop called Yisk. And I think there are Yisk stores in most of Europe. I think it's a Danish chain of uh, homewares and um, decoration store. I saw this one, I fell in love with it and it was only five euros so I just had to get it. And it's not plastic which is something I like a lot as well. And I had a diffuser like this before but I wasn't a big fan because the top part of the water was actually open so it was collecting a lot of dust and it was really not safe with the cats around and I just didn't enjoy it that much but this one is great so as you can see it's shaped like a Buddha like a Buddha's head which is awesome and then on the back we have a little compartment for the tea light to make some warmth and then at the top you can take off the top of Buddha's head and you have this little container for the water you basically just fill it up with water and put maybe five drops of essential oil sometimes i put three because some of them are stronger than others and at the moment i'm loving basil oil it just smells so fresh and i use it most of the days and it makes my house smell really fresh so i think it's such a great diffuser next as always i read quite a few books in march but one book seriously stood out and I kept thinking and thinking and I believe that it's probably my most favorite book I've ever read in my whole life. It's seriously that good. And it's called The Rhythm of Life by Matthew Kelly. It's quite a famous book. You might have already heard of it, but oh my God, seriously, the book is amazing. It's all about the importance of rhythm in your life, how important it is to be inspired and working hard, but at the same time having the quality of life and playing and not forgetting to de-stress and have enough sleep but it's also from the very kind of spiritual side that book is huge and it's full of nuggets of wisdom i seriously highlighted probably maybe 20 percent of the book because it's full of amazing quotes not quotes but you know really wise sentences that can be as perfect quotes this book is seriously amazing if you are into improving your life um, into getting more rhythm um, de-stressing and also finding more inspiration for your everyday work but, but also if you're going through adrenal stress or adrenal fatigue uh, if you don't know how to 
deal with lots of uh, stress and tiredness and lack of sleep then the book is seriously so 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 helpful so highly recommend that book get it for yourself and see what I mean it's amazing and lastly I'd like to talk about a couple of movies that really stood out for me in March and I don't watch movies often but for some reason in March I watched quite a few and the first one is I Daniel Blake I first heard about this movie from Lily Pebbles she mentioned it in her favorites video and honestly that movie is probably one of the top 10 movies of my lifetime it's just amazing it's about the benefit system in the UK and how difficult it is to get benefits and how it can really ruin your life and even kill you and it's just honestly it's incredible especially if you live in the UK or if you have lived in the UK you will really relate to a lot of it and the thing is I myself have a friend who's a single mom and she really struggled to get any kind of help from the government and in the end she almost didn't manage to get any well at the same time there's so many I mean I personally know so many people who unfortunately are taking advantage of the system and living a really rich life all on benefits and it's so heartbreaking because there's so many people who genuinely need help but they don't get it because of so many fraudsters around um, so it's an incredible movie seriously you have to watch it it's going to make you think for weeks afterwards and then the next movie and also my last favorite of March is a movie called Goya's Ghosts it's not a new movie at all I think it's almost 10 years old by now or something like that no, maybe less and it's one of my favorite actor of all times Javier Bardem I love that guy he's, he's the most talented and most handsome actor in the world for me personally tell me what you think if you like him as well so I looked at his filmography and all of the movies that he's made and I decided to watch most of them I have already watched a lot of them but Goya's Ghost was one of the movies that I haven't watched yet so that movie is seriously great. It's about Goya, the famous Spanish painter, but it's not really about him. He's just one of the characters, but definitely not the main one. And it's basically about the Spanish Inquisition, which was absolutely horrible if you haven't heard of it yet. And about the horrors of, you know, the Christian church in those days, about the unsettled political situation, the war, cruelty, and it's just really, really amazing. If you're into historical you know dramas and if you're into history in general and learning more about country's history you are going to really enjoy this movie and also the acting of all the actors was exquisite the reviews of this movie unfortunately are not the best i don't know why i personally loved it it was dark and beautiful and deep all at the same time i just think it's really amazing so definitely watch it and i think these are all my favorites I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.